fellow mathematicians. We're going to take a look at our first example of a non-homogeneous ODE that we solve using the method of undetermined coefficients. So, step one, always solve the homogeneous ODE for the complementary solution first. So let's set the right-hand side equal to zero. And we're going to find the complementary solution. So we're solving y double prime plus y prime minus 12y equals zero. We can convert to the characteristic equation r squared plus r minus 12 equals zero. And always try to factor that, and I believe that does here. Looks like this factors as r plus 4 times r minus 3. And we get two distinct real roots. Negative 4 and positive 3. Each of those values of r gives us an exponential function of the form e to the rx as a solution. So our complementary solution looks like a constant, c1, times e to the negative 4x, and then plus another constant, c2, times e to the 3x. All right, that's it for the complementary solution. Now, to find the particular solution, we start by looking at the right-hand side, g of x, and using that to determine a form for the particular solution. All right, so I always like to write down what g of x is. The right-hand side is 2x minus 3. And since that is a very simple degree 1 polynomial, we try a form for yp as a general degree 1 polynomial. So with that, we might try yp as ax plus b. And now we try to solve for the values of a and b by plugging that form for yp back into our differential equation. Now in order to plug that in, we need the first derivative and we need the second derivative. So let's go ahead and calculate yp prime and yp double prime. That should be very easy. Looks like yp prime, the first derivative, is just going to be the constant a. And then your second derivative is 0, which is really nice. Now what we want to happen is we want the particular solution such that when we plug it in here to the non-homogeneous ODE, we should get 2x minus 3 left over. So let me plug in yp everywhere. This is what we want to happen. We want yp double prime plus yp prime minus 12yp. We want that to equal 2x minus 3. And we have to determine the values of a and b that make that happen. All right, let's go ahead and plug them all in. yp double prime is 0, so I don't need to include that. yp prime is just a. And then we get minus 12 times yp, which is ax plus b. And we want that to all equal, in the end, 2x minus 3. All right. How we solve for the values of a and b here is very similar, if you think back to Calc 2, with partial fraction decomposition, where you solved for constants a, b, c, and d using the method of equating coefficients. So let me go ahead and multiply out this right-hand side. You can see we have powers of x, x to the first powers, and then just constants. So it looks like I can write this as a minus 12ax minus 12b. Minus 
And if we collect our terms together, let me just reorder this. Let me write the minus 12 AX first. And then our constants are A minus 12B. And from here, we can get our equations to solve for A and B by equating like terms or equating coefficients on each side. You can see we have X's on each side. So this coefficient of X, negative 12A, should equal that coefficient of X, too. So our first equation, by equating X's on both sides, we should get negative 12A. equals 2. And looks like you can solve that very easily for the value of a. Looks like we get there, uh, a comes out to negative 1 sixth. All right, to get the value for b, we look at our constant terms. On the left side, that's a minus 12b. And that should equal the constant on the right side, which is negative 3. All right, we can plug in the value for a. So we have that as negative 1 over 6 minus 12b equals negative 3. And if you go through a little bit of work, add the 1 over 6 to the other side, fiddle around with common denominators, what you should find is you get b as 17 over 72. And those are the two values for a and b which we can plug back in to get our particular solution. Now, I always like to, at the end of a problem, write down the full solution. We have our complementary solution. We have our particular solution determined with the values of A and B in there. Now we just need to plug them in and write it all out. Our solution looks like the complementary solution, c1 e to the negative 4x plus c2 times e to the 3x. And then we add to the complementary solution the particular solution where a is negative 1 over 6 and b is 17 over 72. So if we plug in our values for a and b, we get minus 1 over 6x plus 17 over 72. And that is our full solution to this non-homogeneous ordinary differential equation. All right, this one was a very simple example. In the examples that follow, the work here might be a little bit more involved in solving for your coefficients. Hope you enjoyed the video make sure to like and subscribe.